Good morning and welcome to the Forex Daily Update, brought to you by Pepperstone on Monday the 8th of October 2018. I'm Darren Sinden and you can follow me throughout the day on Twitter by using at DS underscore Pepperstone. Right, let's take a look at those overnight changes and price moves to be aware of. And in fact, as it's a Monday, we'll look at the moves from a weekly basis. Uh, and what a week it was. Uh, big moves for the majors. Look here how the euro lost 0.73% uh, against the US dollar over the course of last week, while sterling uh, gained 0.72%. Really, perhaps we're looking at a play on Brexit hopes there. Uh, in the Antipodes, it was a dreadful week. I think that's the only way to describe it. The Australian dollar down 2.45% against its US rival. The New Zealand dollar losing even more at 2.65%. Uh, it was a mixed uh, week for emerging market currencies. For example, the Brazilian real making gains of 5.12% against the US dollar over the last seven days. But the South African rand lost 4.41% uh, over that period. Dollar index itself Shortly before we recorded the video, it was trading at 95.71, up 0.52% over the last week. Okay then, what's on the calendar? Events that may move the markets today. Well, we have three holidays today. Columbus Day in the States, a partial market holiday there. Health Sports Day in Japan and Thanksgiving Day in Canada. And it's a pretty light calendar there. Apart from that, we've already had uh, job adverts data out of uh, Australia for September, a slight drop there. Uh, Kaishin China Services PMI data also earlier this morning for the month of September and a much improved figure there 53.1 beating expectations and the prior read and to come this morning we will have Swiss unemployment for September 0545 GMT and that'll be followed by industrial production data out of Germany for the month of August at 6 a.m. GMT. Then at 8.30 GMT, we shall have the Centex Investor Confidence data for the month of October for the Eurozone. And then a big break until 23.01 this evening, when we'll see the release of the British Retail Consortium Like for Like Retail Sales data for September. And that'll be followed at 23.50 by Trade Balance and Current Account data for August out of Japan. OK, breaking news and comment then. It's caught my eye overnight. First of all, Chinese stocks and the Yuan weaken after their return from a week-long holiday, and this despite action by the People's Bank of China to ease the reserve requirement rate, the amount of money that banks have to put down before they can lend, and add liquidity to the system. Meanwhile, US Defense Secretary Mike Pompeo will meet with Chinese officials today on his way back from North Korea, and his talks will be aimed at reducing trade and military tensions between the two superpowers. And meanwhile, Brazil's presidential election will now move to a runoff on October 28th after the Conservative candidate Jair Bolsonaro failed to secure an outright majority with 46% of the votes and he will face off with left-wing hopeful Fernando Haddad who uh, secured 29%. OK, food for thought then, something to take away with you into the trading day and beyond. Why not think about this? Uh, implied US interest rates or bond yields have been rising over recent weeks as the economy there continues to improve. However, it does appear that you can have too much of a good thing and Goldman's find that short-term rises in the interest rates of 40 basis points or more are negative for US equities and investor sentiment. And you can see that's exactly what's happened here. Bond yields rising and the S&P 500 or US 500 index uh, dipping down as that happens. Right, please take a moment to read this risk warning. Trading CFDs and foreign exchange on margin can be a risky business. If you're in any doubt about those risks or the suitability of the products for you, then please do contact your Pepperstone account representative and do take the time to read this risk warning thoroughly. Thank you for your time.